Ah, first rehearsal. Almost as stressful as auditions, huh? Yeah, all the imposter syndrome comes rushing out when you actually have to perform. <laughs> no, you're right. It's not so bad for me anymore. I've done this enough times to deal with it. How about you? A few butterflies, yeah. Ah, don't worry about it. You'll do fine. Thanks for agreeing to ride chair, by the way. Going back and forth to the rehearsal venue so much gets really expensive in fuel, especially towards the end. Oh, yeah, I forgot this is your first proper show where you didn't just join the chorus. Well, the last couple of weeks before show night are especially hectic and packed with rehearsal. You'll be doing this journey every day in the last week or so. Mm hmm. Yeah, for our last show, that week alone cost me an extra 100 quid in fuel. Amateur theatre ain't cheap, even if you ignore the production costs we have to pay. Oh, <laughs> nobody told you about that either? <laughs> yeah, we don't just not get paid for this. We have to pay to do it. Mm. But such is life, and the production costs for each member aren't that high. Putting on a show costs a lot of money, but it's not so bad when it's split between all of us. And hey, it's a chance to do this kind of thing for fun without having to dedicate your life and career to it, you know? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess I would dedicate more time to it if I could, but uh, I'm not talented enough to make a proper career out of it. I'd never earn enough money to live. <laughs> Thank you, but I wasn't just being self-deprecating. It's just a fact. I'm not upset about it. I'm fine with it staying a hobby, really. There's less pressure that way. I can just enjoy it. Mm. Speaking of pressure, I hope you aren't feeling it too much. Honestly, you've nothing to worry about at this stage. No, really, the director's a lovely guy, and nobody will have much memorised yet. It's only the first rehearsal. No one's going to be expecting you to knock it all out of the park all at once. <laughs> I know it's easy for me to say that when I only have a couple of lines and the rest of the time I'm singing with the chorus. There's virtually no pressure on me. All my fuck-ups will be covered up by everybody else. Quite a bit different being the lead, I'm sure. <sighs> I still can't believe you got the lead role the very first time you auditioned. But nope. Nope. I'm not going to be envious. We're all on the same side, just trying to make a good show together. Okay, here we are. Fashionably late. That's the way to be. No, don't worry. Nobody will mind. Virtually nobody turns up to rehearsals at the time they post on the Facebook group. They don't actually start until 15 minutes after the posted time anyway. <laughs> they tried to make it so you had to arrive on time for a few sessions a little while ago. Nothing changed. If anything, people arrived later than usual. Sort of defiant thing, I guess. <laughs> okay, you ready to go in? Oh, you need a minute? Why, um, something bothering you? Or... You're that nervous, huh? <laughs> funny. No, sorry, it's not funny, of course. It's just that most people get really nervous before an audition. Going to a rehearsal means you got the part. Nothing to be nervous about now. Oh... Shh, I'm, I'm sorry. No, I, I didn't mean to minimise how you feel. I'm sorry. Shh, it's okay. Um, look, do you want to get into the back of the car? It's just the rear windows are tinted and people are going to be walking past. A bit more privacy there. Well, it's just, you know, I don't like to be seen crying in public, so I doubt you do either. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bit of privacy. We do still have a few minutes before they'll be kicking off, so... You want to talk about it? No, no, I really don't mind. You did the same for me at auditions, and I was so, so grateful. Especially after I'd been such a dickhead. For sure. Like, this sort of thing happens all the time. Half the time I spend at Amdram is either being comforted because I've had a bit of a freak out or comforting others for their freakouts. <laughs> We're a uh, dramatic bunch. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, I use that joke all the time. 
yeah freakouts happen even before a rehearsal sometimes ignore what i said it's not that unusual sure most of the time when people go a bit wobbly it's before an audition or before the actual night of the show or yes both that's how it usually is for me <laughs> but that doesn't mean how you're feeling is invalid if you're feeling the nerves now then i'm here for you even if it's not exactly how i feel why don't you tell me about it where are the nerves coming from hmm yeah i totally get it this will be your first time properly performing in front of other people not just being part of a big group of singers it completely makes sense that you'd be more nervous about this you want a hug sure come here your feelings are completely valid you aren't being stupid it's okay jumping from nothing to a lead role all at once like this must be stressful too yeah it's true all eyes will be on you probably but it's okay they're on you because you're good and you earned the role and you'll smash it i know you will ah oh, no don't talk like that come on you can totally do this don't even think about backing out I mean, if you really, really think you need to, then of course it's your choice. Nobody can force you to walk in there and do this rehearsal, okay? It's not mandatory. But I know you'll be kicking yourself if you do. I did it one time. I felt so anxious for some reason that I just didn't show up to the audition. Yeah, it's true. I, I told myself that... I just couldn't be bothered, that I, I wasn't that interested in the part, that I had better things to do that day. But the fact is, I was anxious and nervous and scared, and I let all that get the better of me. I regret not doing it. I regret not pushing through the anxiety and the nervousness and the fear. And I know you will too. And I'm sure that within just a few minutes of stepping through those doors, as soon as we get to the singing and the acting and having fun... All of these horrible feelings you're having will they'll disappear. What do you think? Shall we go in? Here, give me a give me a big squeeze. Mm, yeah. Squeeze all those nerves out. <laughs> hey, don't mock the tinted windows, okay? I didn't choose them. They were on the car when I bought it second hand. Besides, I'm sure you're glad of them. Okay, in we go. Hey, that was great. No, I'm serious. That went really well for a first rehearsal session. Really well. Of course, they're never perfect. Not even the nerdiest theatre kids have fully memorised anything at this point. Unless they're already really, really familiar with the show. And you did so good. Yeah. Do you know the show already? Is that it? Everything we did seemed to come super naturally to you. I was surprised. <laughs> no, not because I didn't believe in you. I did. It's just that expectations for a first-timer in a leading role can only be so great, you know? But you smashed it, for sure. Oh, and did you have fun? That's the most important part, after all. This is only a hobby. <laughs> Yeah? Ah. I'm so glad. <laughs> See, didn't I tell you that the nerves would disappear in no time? It doesn't take long for that to all melt away and for you to get into the swing of things. I find that if this is something you're really interested in, something you're made for, it becomes a breeze in no time. It was really nice seeing you become more confident too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry if this is a bit weird, but I was kind of keeping an eye on you at first, you know? Only to make sure you weren't actually in trouble. You weren't having a proper freak out. Mm. I mean, I, I was sure it was just ordinary nerves, but it never hurts to be careful. If it turns out you were still having a bad time after, I don't know, a quarter of an hour, I would have wanted to be able to talk to you about it. <laughs> nah, I could see that you were finding things easier within a few minutes. It was magic watching that happen. 
and it even made things easier for me. Yeah, for sure. I mean, on a purely practical level, performing next to someone who exudes confidence like you did after a while, it's really, um, what's the word? Um, buoying. It lifts everybody up. But also, because I care about you, it was a huge relief to see that I wasn't wrong, that you were going to do fine. I felt like I kind of pushed you a little bit. But in the end, I'm glad I did. I think you would have done the same to me if you felt you needed to. Mm. Mm. I loved watching you own that role, honestly. Any last bits of envy I was holding on to just drifted away. They obviously made the right decision, casting you over me. <laughs> I know. I still feel so silly for making such a big fuss over not getting it myself. But, on the other hand, if I hadn't, then we probably wouldn't have spoken after the audition. I wouldn't have got to know you better. I wouldn't have had the opportunity to ride share with you and help you when you needed it. So, yeah, <laughs> overall, probably a good thing that I was such a baby. <laughs> I'm grateful, even, that I've been given this chance to get to know you better. Yeah, for real. I've had a bit of a thing for you for a long time. <laughs> Since the first time I saw you show up for Ensemble, really. Though maybe I didn't know it then. And ever since then, I've been hoping for a reason to get to know you better. Well, of course I know now that I could have just come up and spoken to you. We were in the same production, for God's sake. It wouldn't have been unreasonable. But you know what nerves are like. What do you mean, why would I be nervous about talking to you? I mean, you know, it seemed like you have a lot of confidence and... Uh, well, I could tell you were a really good singer, even if it was just in ensemble, which is a little intimidating. And you're really cute, and that sort of thing is hard for anybody, isn't it? Talking to a stranger. The second to last thing I said? Um, I don't remember. I was just rambling. Wasn't thinking that hard about what I was saying. What did I say? I just said you're a good singer, I think, didn't I? Oh. Yeah. Uh, well, I stand by it. You are cute. <laughs> uh, well, um, it's no surprise, really. Theatre nerds, innit? We're all secretly crushing on each other all the time. It's just the way of things. But, you know, I guess I do think about you in that way a little more than average. And I... Oh, uh... Yeah, okay. Everybody's left, right? I don't think anybody else is going to be walking past, so... <sighs> Fuck. I should have auditioned for the second lead, shouldn't I? I'm pretty sure there's a kissing scene between the two leads. <sighs> hmm... Um, do you want to climb in the back again? There's a bit more room there. <laughs> yeah. I've never done anything in, in the car before. <laughs> 